Good morning. I thought I'd jump on here just a minute or two early to give people a chance to jump on since it was kind of a last minute pose to say, uh, let's do dry brushing again and work on thighs. So these are exercises that I'm gonna be doing daily and I thought, well, why not just do it here? Um, so, I uh, wanted to let you know that I did get, so this is Melissa, your shopaholic gal, and I did get on YouTube. Oh my gosh, it is such a learning curve. There is so much to do to figure out YouTube. Um, so, uh, it's going to be a, a work in process here. I am so not techno savvy. Um, the little bit of stuff I do know how to do is just for my jewelry business. Um, so good morning all. Uh, I definitely wanted to do a thigh workout with you. So if you're going to join in, let me know, what, let, let me let you know what you're going to need. So, um, if you have your dry brush, definitely your dry brush with a handle or without, uh, either one is fine. Oh yeah. Um, so, because we're going to do some dry brushing, and I'll talk about that. Um, you are going to need just a small pillow. I've just got my travel pillow. Um, or if you already have one of the exercise balls, get one of these. Um, and if you have a band, if not, no worries. Um, because these are the key to slimming those saddlebags. So, be sure to get a, you know, you don't have to have this. Um, and then I have like another bigger version. So, you know what? I, I realized I should have had some kind of music. That would have been fun. So, okay. Well, let's get started. Let's do a quick warm up. So I'm going to stand up. Of course, uh, I'm going to be doing my own video graph uh, today. So let, if you'll stand to your feet, everyone, and let's just do a quick warm up. Let's start with just taking a deep breath in and plie, up and release. Let's do it two more times. Down, in, and release. Last time, down, up, and release. Okay, let's just do a quick warm up. And let's do some uh, leg lifts. So just uh, for 30 seconds here, just kind of do leg lifts just to warm up those legs. Put your arms out like so. And if you can, you know, just put it down lower, you know, just touch your legs. So I used to do a bunch of workouts and then I got all, you know, oh, big. And so I had to learn how to do all the improvised versions of exercising. So we're just trying to warm up our legs, get the blood flowing before we work on these saddlebags. Cause I don't know about you, but I've got them. And I wanna slim down my thighs. And the best time to do exercises is while you're losing weight. And if you've already lost your weight, you can try to catch up then. Okay, that's our 30 seconds. I'm gonna start another. And, uh-oh. Wait a minute. Well, let's see, how do you go back down? Okay, reset. Well, oh, of course I thought I knew how to work this. Well, okay, just forget it. Uh, let's start with some squats. So we've taken our deep breath in. If you've got a chair, you put a chair in front of you, or if you can do it by yourself, do it by yourself. Feet apart, I'm standing on a mat, and let's just do some squats. Just go as low as you can because we want to get that blood flowing before we start slimming. So just go down and up. You know, that really gets your uh, quads going. Down and up. And remember, I talked about when we're sweating, we're releasing uh, water. Do you know it took me an hour? So this time I decided in order to get, whoo, I'm feeling this guys, are you feeling it? So let's just keep up, all right. And let's 
Let's do two more. Okay, or hold on if need be. Okay, two. All right, shake out the legs. All right. Now, my little shirt, I've got all these workout clothes. We'll see as I begin to slim down how much cuter they look <laughs> on. Okay, so let's go on and begin. We're gonna do some leg lifts. So if you've got a chair, you can put a chair in front of you. You know, this is really kind of some of the things that I learned in bar class. And so we're gonna start just, you know, just standing straight, you know, feet just a few feet apart, and we're gonna do leg lifts. So, because I wanna work on these, the saddlebags, you know, and well, let's see. You know, I, I have thunder thighs, guys. So, in order to work on those, of course, walking and exercising. So let's just start with some leg lifts. You know, just as high as you can go, or, you know, because it's all about repetition. You know, moving as much as you can on these legs. So, I'm gonna take these videos over, because like once I record it here, uh, then I can, you know, take it over to YouTube. So, wow, I was on YouTube and it was like, you know, in order for me to do live videos on YouTube, you have to have a thousand followers to be able to stream from your phone. So, I'm like, and then I was trying to move my videos from uh, Facebook over and I was having a hard time and of course neither one of my kids have Facebook so they don't know how it works. Okay, let's take a break. And let's do the other side. So if you did that, that side, let's see, I'll try to make sure you can kind of see here. So let's do the other side. So I thought if my kids knew how to, if they knew how to do Facebook, at least that would help. So I don't know, it's, it's like a learning curve. And your other leg can be slightly bent so you're not putting too much pressure on your knee. And just keep on lifting. I'm feeling it right here, guys. We are getting that blood flowing. All right. Let's do a few more. And then we're gonna go back to squats. All right, we're gonna work on this. All righty. Now, let's go back to a few squats. While our, our you know, because if we're feeling it, if we're burning, something's working. So. I've got a chair, or you can just be, you know, feet apart. And let's begin with our squats again. So, yeah, so it took me an hour, probably an hour and 15 minutes, to get one bottle of water down. So I was just like, oh my gosh, because that's, I, I've got to get the water down. I am having a time. This is now two weeks to, as of today, post-op. So guess what, guys? I get to start pureed foods today. So, of course, I'm going to do some videos on what I'm eating. So, all right. So straight down and straight up. All right. Last one. Let's shake it out. Now, we want to do inner thighs. And so, the inner thigh. And so, we're going to, okay, so let's see if I can have the chair. So we're going to have our foot out and we're going to go in, in, you know, inside like so, just like when normally you would lay down and do it, but we're just going to go inside. All right. So ready? Let's go in. And the best way with inner thighs I have found is with, you know, you know, kind of, uh, squeezing. So really try to think about your inner thigh and squeeze as you go in, squeeze, squeeze, Squeeze. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get some music because that would be so much more uh, fun to kind of go along with music. And then I gotta figure out the timer. Okay, so let's keep going. And then, do you know you can dry brush? I mean, if you're at home, you can dry brush right through your clothes. Um, or, you know, you can just, you know, have, you know, on your raw skin, which would be even better. But we're gonna do it through our clothes. And I'm gonna talk about it again. Okay, now a lot of times when you're working on this leg, you will feel it in your opposite leg. So let's work the opposite leg. Stop, I'm not even doing any kind of count, but we're just gonna kind of do this together. Okay, ready, let's go. I wanna talk about the benefits of dry brushing again because I'm gonna do 
dry brushing immediately following. So remember we're doing, working on inner thigh, tighten up every time. You know, don't have your knee locked on the standing leg, just slightly bent. So the benefits of dry brushing are exfoliating your skin, of course, reducing the amount of cellulite, that's a good one. Um, it improves our kidney and digestive uh, system. It tones our muscles, all of this through dry brushing. It mobilizes the fat. <laughs> I mean, dry brushing is where it's at. Guys, you can Google it and know exactly what you need to do. Um, it tightens our skin just by dry brushing. I mean, is that not amazing? Stimulates our circulation. All of these things just from dry brushing. So I am super excited about doing the workout on you know different areas and then doing dry brushing. Okay, now let me show you what you can do with a, either a, so we're gonna still continue to work on inner thighs. So what you wanna do is sit down in your chair and hopefully you can see me. I'll scoot back just a little bit further. Yeah, okay, so with your pillow, you wanna sit at the edge of your chair and with your pillow, you know, put it between your legs and then we're gonna start squeezing. So let's do, you know, some pulses. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Sit up straight, have good posture, and you're working those inner thighs. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna have flabby legs, are you? <laughs> I feel it, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Oh yeah, oh, and by the way, I've got my feet on my, I'm on my toes. So I'm on my toes, I'm in the end of the bench, I'm squeezing the pillow, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Now, also for this, they have these little balls, which I have a little ball, and so, you know, a pillow or a ball, but same thing, you put the ball and squeeze, squeeze, and see the ball really, because it's like a, you know, air and you really feel it. So, squeeze, 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 woo! Okay, relax. Let's take a break on that, and then we're gonna do another set. So, and then we're gonna do, after, since we've done our mini 10 minute, almost 10 minute workout, then we'll switch over to dry brushing, and then we'll conclude. And then I'm gonna get on the treadmill and walk for 30 minutes, then I'm gonna jump in a hot and then cold shower. Okay, ready, let's do it again. Squeeze, squeeze, you know, Hold your, you know, and we gotta really work on our core too, because that's gonna be important. You know, really supporting our entire core. Okay. Ooh. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Then I'm gonna do the band. So if you have a band, you can do the band. Now I always felt like when I was doing band work, that really helped to uh, slenderize my legs. So I wanna make sure I use the, uh, the band. Okay. Oh, let's do five more. I'm feeling it. And when you're burning, it's working. You know, it's not until it burns and hurts is when, you know, you know something is being changed in your body. Okay, release. All right. So if you have a band, go ahead and put it on. If not, you want to put it above the knee. Now this one, you know, and somebody told me, uh, you know, like all these things I'm talking about and if people buy them, you know, that I need to become an Amazon affiliate where I get points. You know, if people go and buy things that I suggest and I can get, you know, like points to, uh, you know, like on my next Amazon purchase. Okay, so this is a really good one. This is the best one I've ever bought, especially when you're larger and you're plus size. Uh, a lot of times those plastic ones, they roll up on your legs. Well, this stays right in place. So let's do some, let me move this over. Well, I guess I shouldn't be on this. Instead of the floor, I can be on the mat. Hold on, let me put this over here. Okay, so we're gonna do our final, do our band work, a quick stretch out, because we want to definitely stretch out what we've worked, and then do our dry brushing. So let's start, and we're just gonna step side, you know, step, step side to side. You know, just two steps and two steps. You know, you lower down and squat and two steps. One 
and one, one, and one, and two, and one, and two, and one. And we're, we're lower down, guys, so, you know, you, feel, you should be feeling it here and here. You're, uh, gosh, I don't know the, what that's called. Uh, quads. So we're, we're working it side to side, guys. I'm feeling it. And even if you don't have the band, the band just gives us resistance to have to work a little harder. If you don't have the band, you know, just squat and follow along with me. All right. Okay. Let's keep it going. All right. Okay. All right, last two. All right, woo! That felt good. All right, we'll remove our band. Now, let's do some stretching. So, we've worked our legs today. So, let's just kind of go down just as far as you can just to give you your, your uh, uh, good stretch. Just go down. You know, so you can really feel in the back of your legs. Just stretch them out. Just stretch, stretch, stretch. Do you know what? As I've lost weight, I can go down lower. I wasn't able to go down this low. You know, because I had all my stomach, so this, uh, woo, I can touch my toes. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. <laughs> wow, the wonders of losing weight. <laughs> okay. And then just come and, you know, kind of squat with it. Uh, you can hold on to a chair, and we can kind of try to kind of cross over. Well, I can't do it all the way, but just kind of cross over and have a seat. You know, stretch out that back part. Okay. Switch legs. And kind of sit down. Uh, and hold. Good job. Deep breath in. Let's do three. Plie in. <sighs> release and in <sighs> last one in <sighs> okay get your dry brush out let's do it now you can do this on your bare skin or <clears throat> you know on the uh, I'm just gonna use my dry bristles and I'm just gonna do it right through my pants Okay, let's see. Uh, hi, LaDonna. Hi, Paula. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What day did you have surgery? I had surgery two Tuesdays ago. Yeah. So it's amazing. Okay, so what we want to do is, uh, you know, you start from your knee and you're going in an upward motion because we always want to go toward our heart. We want to go into our groin area. Up and in. So on the inner thigh, into the groin area. Up, up, and up. So let's get started. Let's go. You know, now I'm going to do mine a little bit harder because I have pants on. But if you're on your dry skin, remember, it's not about doing it hard. It's about doing, you know, the strokes. Because our skin is such a sensitive organ. It's one of our largest organs. So all the way around... We want to just go from the knee and just brush the skin all the way around, get our back area all the way, all the way. And even on our butt, we can kind of come up, up the butt. Let me see what it says on the, the butt because it was like, oh, like right here, we want to go down, right in the cheek down area and then the outer butt we want to come up 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 so from the knee up 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 right here we go down 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 then up and this is usually about a, a 30 second routine on each leg I'm gonna come around, up. And remember all the benefits. We're uh, stimulating and cleansing our lymphatic system. We're stimulating 
circulation, we're toning our muscles, we're reducing cellulite. Okay, I think that might be enough. Ooh, I wanna get this area good. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, let's switch legs, ready? Okay, I'm even sweating just from uh, doing the dry brushing. Remember, we're going up toward the heart. Ready, let's start on our inner, and I'm just gonna pull up my pants, up, up. Going right up to the groin area, up. Because I'm trying to mobilize that fat, guys. I'm not having plastic surgery. I'm not gonna go through any major recovery. You know, I'm just so thankful that, because I'm a, a weenie, I'm so thankful that the uh, sleeve surgery that I had, let me see, go up, let's work around our leg. I mean, it was like, you know, and two hours after surgery, I was up and walking. I've been feeling great the entire time. I've followed all their rules. I've continued to walk. I, anytime I felt sluggish, I would walk. So that's all we have to do. Okay, let's turn around. Let's get it. Now remember, on the outer part of our butt, we're going up, up. Can you see me? Up, up. And then right in the crack, we're going down, 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 down. And around the hips, up, up, up. From the knee, up. Upward motions, guys. We are stimulating that fat. Woo! Woo! Because one day I'll get on here and I'm going to show you. I have got, my legs are horrible. I could never wear shorts. I've got, well, before I couldn't wear shorts, but I'm going to start wearing shorts. I'm going to get these legs together. <laughs> okay. Keep it going. Oh, I guess I'm showing my ball. And you can do this all over your body. Now, right now, I'm not going to do, you know, on my incisions, but... We're, uh, you know, there's, we can do our upper core, our stomach area, because I've got, I've had two C-sections, so I've got the flab down here. Okay. Woo. That was good. So, now, another thing I talked about yesterday, so my incisions are healing quite nice. I'm going to get up here. Let's see. And like I said, just yesterday, the woman told me about using vitamin E, and so this is a vitamin E lotion, and so... Uh, here is my port, which is healed up nicely. You know, last Thursday I had my uh, stitches taken out. You don't have a stitch on your port, but that's already scabbed over. It's healing. Uh, this one, you know, I've got the, the lotion on and it's healing. This was the main one. And this is probably where they had the largest, you know, maybe where the staple gun went in. Because this is the one that was a little hard around here, but I'm still using my heating pad. I'm massaging it with that oil. You know, and really getting that inflammation down, that scar tissue from underneath. And then this other one, I can't even, you know, hardly feel it all. So it's just this one here. But once we get going, I guess I have brawn. Once we get going, you know, we're going to really start working on our core, working on our lower stomach, working on these, you know, continuing to work on our saggy arms, thighs. And we're going to work together to do all that we have to do to be slim and lean and looking good. So when this weight comes off, we are gonna look fabulous. Witch hazel, yeah, good. I'll have to look into getting some witch hazel. So great, thank you. All right guys, we've been on for about 22 minutes. So I'm gonna dive off here because I never wanna keep you on too long. I'm gonna post this over on YouTube. I'm still gonna watch the tutorials and get everything together on YouTube. Um, cause I'm not sure how long Pompeii will allow me to do exercising, um, on here, but I've got so much to share. Remember today starts my puree stage. I've got recipes in mind. I'm going to the grocery. I'm excited. Uh, so one of the things I love Italian food. And so I'm going to make a no noodle lasagna. I'm excited about that today and black bean soup. So, cause today I do taco Tuesdays for the family and I want something Mexican too. So, alrighty. Hey, thanks for joining me. Have a great day.